Um, the book's made up of three long poems. Um, all of them have something of the form of a kind of poem essay. Um, the first one is um, a nostalgic retrospective address to a you, um, part me, part, part universal um, in New York. Um, I had in mind, I think, to some extent, the Jane Didion essay goodbye to all that. Um, and it presents um, you engaged in a lot of different types of activities in the city, including some that I think don't get represented in, in poetry very much, um, from certain kinds of sexual experience, including you know, an embarrassing um, hookup with an, with an ex met at a bar, to a lot of material about work, um, working in an office job, um, working on a spreadsheet, um, and the way that the mind um, turns, turns in on itself and, and turns to observe the city uh, when, when bored in these kinds of environments. Um, and the, sec the second poem um, is very essentially about repetition. Um, it, is, it begins with a quotation from Heraclitus, uh, who's a Greek philosopher that I studied as an undergraduate, um, and it's divided into numbered sections, which, which range from um, things set in history, Henry James um, sitting in his house at Rye at the beginning of the First World War, um, ends with the Trinity tests. Um, um, it also contains quite a lot of material about San Francisco, which is where I lived, and particularly about processes of gentrification and I guess recycling um, of, of sort of cultural memes in the city. Um, and the third poem, which is the longest, is the most personal, and it is about birth and death, um, specifically about the death of my father, um, which happened in 2014, and then the birth of my first um, son, which happened exactly six months later um, to the hour. The first poem, um, I think, was a product in some ways of the fact that I had long wanted to write a novel about you know, being a young person in New York and had attempted to do that you know, before realizing that I wasn't doing anything people hadn't done before um, and also had been thinking a lot about this Joan Didion essay, Goodbye to All That, um, and really did just sort of sit down one day and, and start writing. And I thought um, what I really want to do is to try using different formal modes um, to look at the city from different angles to provide kind of different aspects of, of a single individual's experience um, in the city. So from kind of long lines to you know, rhyming couplets to Coltrane stanzas. Um, the second poem, um, I wanted to, to try to do something that was a bit more philosophical and um, essayistic, I suppose, in terms of uh, this inquiry into repetition um, as, a, as a problem, you know, both in individual life and, and in historical processes. Um, with the second poem, um, you know, I, I wrote the, the different sections which are now numbered in order um, from the idea is from the easiest examples to the most difficult um, over quite a long period of time before, before threading them together into you know, a whole. Um, and the third poem, um, you know, did did begin with the sort of peculiar collocation of these two experiences: my father's death and my son's birth. And I suppose the fact that, as a you know, a basically healthy person, I had never really been in a hospital before my father was sick. Um, he was he was in hospital for a couple of months before he died, and then of course, you know, during the pregnancy. So quite a lot of the um, the third poem is set in in and around sort of hospital settings rather than in the kind of expansive open spaces, you know, the streets, the bars of, of the first poem. It's a more kind of interior poem.